Over 100 years ago, Glasgow had one of the world's first and largest public transport systems, connecting all corners of the city quickly and effectively. Over the years, the rest of the world's cities have expanded and modernized their network, maintaining their efficiency and convenience. Meanwhile, Glasgow has one of the only metros not to have been expanded beyond its original route. A single loop going through a small part of the city, barely reaching the outer suburbs. For that, we rely on buses, which, as described by researchers, are... For a city as large and populous as Glasgow, being a social, creative and cultural hub for Europe, it deserves more. So here's our proposal. A tramline from the city centre to the airport via Ibrox Stadium and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Starting our journey at the hub of the city, Glasgow Central Station, as such an important gateway to connect the rest of the country, it seems a viable place to connect the rest of the city as well. Moving down the main road, we approach the Quay, a public hotspot for entertainment and commercial growth, followed by two stops to connect to the existing subway network. Advancing to Ibrox Stadium, a location in dire need of improved infrastructure. During match days, the current parking and bus routes are insufficient to satisfy the domestic demand of the city's fans. Down to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, the main hospital serving Glasgow. Whilst having incredibly overcrowded car parks and unreliable bus services, it is in dire need of a connection to the city centre. A new station along the road accommodates an area within walkable distance of the hospital location, as well as a proposed loop that allows the elderly access to the area. Next, a stop to Brayhead Shopping Centre, giving many more people access to a range of shops in the local area, while smaller stops connect the community of Renfrew adjacent to the road. Renfrew Station, the final stop before the airport, completes the densely populated area in desperate demand for improved public transport. An open glass station shows off the church at the end of the road. Finally, Glasgow Airport not having a reliable connection to the city centre is embarrassing. Scotland's second busiest airport requires a better first impression than expensive taxis and infrequent buses to get visitors into the city. Compared to the likes of Edinburgh Airport, improved public transport in Glasgow is a necessity. Going above budget by over £400 million, with limited routes and inadequate staffing, it is safe to say that Edinburgh's new single tram route leaves much to be desired. Through the analysis of many different considerations set up below, we've calculated the route to be a total cost of £947 million, with the repayment period determined to be 7.28 years. The benefits of a tram network over Glasgow's traditional bus network comes from four distinct areas. The first is that trams are striking three times more energy efficient than traditional buses, meaning they can travel farther and faster. Secondly, trams run along a smooth and set track, meaning there is no stopping for traffic or waiting at lights, and passenger comfort is greatly increased. Trams also have over twice the expected lifespan of their bus counterpart, reducing maintenance and operating costs. And lastly, trams are more space efficient, offering up to twice the capacity of Glasgow's double-decker bus. Combined, this brings a positive effect on road congestion and carbon output, taking the next steps required to meet Scotland's carbon neutral goal by 2045. Over the next decades, as European cities rapidly expand, this investment will be a crucial step towards improving the infrastructure to support and satisfy the growing population. The addition of a tram line to the Southside population would give a diverse and underfunded community of almost a quarter of a million people easy access to the rest of Glasgow. And in a location where poverty levels are considerably higher than the country's average, it is safe to say that for both visitors and residents, a new public transport line is long overdue.